and get in between the ribs. Okay. We've got some we've got some knots like right in there. Hey everybody, this is Brett. And today I want to talk about how you can get back to balance and use massage therapy and yoga and relaxing to do that. A lot of bugs out here. <laughs> As you can understand with all of these weeds. I just cut my lawn again with the scythe. Looks good, huh? Looks really like professional and clean. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go put on some bug stuff and come back okay. in a second. So I got my bug stuff on and uh, I put on some cedar wood oil. So I bought, brought all my massage tools out here because this is what I use. I use the weight of my own body and my strength to massage my body. And that releases that and then that calms my mind. And also I just kind of spend a lot of time just relaxing and stretching, you know. And the more I do that, the more it unwinds both. And then I get back to a place of where I'm confident in myself, I'm able to help other people, I'm able to, you know, take care of my dog and get through my day. So let's just do something, some of this stuff. What do I feel like I need? Okay, I feel like I need to roll on my spine. So that's where this comes in. This is my good old beater roller. It'll probably last till I oh, die. Yeah, I see, it cracked already. Oh yeah. Mm. It's so good. And it doesn't have to be a perfectly flat surface, obviously. Oh, yeah. really good to roll on that cervical area and there's this one guy this athlete and X person that says that you can't roll on your lower back <laughs> well let's just do that let's just roll directly on the spinal processes and the reason that I'm able to do this is because I've conditioned my bod now for I'm gonna I'm gonna open the roller up a little bit by adjusting the screw on the inside. Okay, see? And you tighten it back down and you're ready to go. Hope you like purple today. <laughs> Some people are like, how dare you show the public your underwear? <laughs> um, these are just underwear. Purple underwear. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Okay, so let's put some nice coconut oil on there. And on here. Okay, so let me put put your thumb in your armpit and squeeze. Okay, you can work on them from this position too. Okay, you put your wrist on your forehead like that. Can you see that? Okay. 
and pull this, squeeze, pull these, and get in between the ribs. Stretch the arm all the way out, like that. Now work on this here. This connective tissue where it's getting close to the bone. Squeeze all that. And then under here, the other pinching place, the teres muscles. Release all of this. Okay. And then when this starts to get tired, flex it and relax it. And then just totally relax. The whole, whole body. Just totally relax and release your whole so body. So you can buy all these tools on my website. Lana Rollers, Foot Friends, this Foot Friend. This saved my ass last night and the night before last night I had to get up in the middle of the night to release because I had a cramp in my foot and all of this was tight. My whole lower leg was tight, and this is what gets her done. You really just don't know how good this is until you put your foot on the rung of a stool. Put your foot on the rung of a stool and start rubbing it. And you'll see how much tension is in the arch of your feet. And this needs to be released constantly because so your feet reflex to your whole body. It's one of the most important reflex points in addition to your ears, your face, and your hands. And so you can imagine that if one thing is really tight and uncomfortable, then it's reflexing to the whole rest of the body an untight or a tight and uncomfortable feeling. So it's like your choice. You can either get on it and do the work and get yourself feeling better, or you can just lag. So you just put your other foot on the base. That's what that's for, so it'll hold it so it won't move because you're going to put a lot of pressure. You're going to put a lot of pressure on the blade. That's the blade. Handcrafted. This is just my old beater one. The nice ones, the new ones. This is the old prototype beater. But the new ones are really, really nice. Solid maple and they'll last your whole life. Your whole lifetime for $60. It takes me hours to make one of these things. But I enjoy making them because I know that they're going to be put to good use. Okay. So now I'm just going to totally relax. And uh, I'm doing this because I did just did some aggressive massage on myself. So now I'm going to do some relaxing stretching work. Some more mellow, yin, feminine work on myself. And I can feel that I've got some pain here. I sleep on my left side a lot. And so I've got some pain here in my glutes. So I'm going to take this softball and put it under there and release that. By lifting up, see, lift the opposite leg up onto your foot so that you can control the amount of pressure. Feel for where it's tight. Adjust the ball. Put the ball wherever you need to put it. Oh, yeah. 
I believe that's the piriformis that I'm feeling. If I remember my anatomy correctly. But my gluteal muscles are really tight too. And you really need to learn some anatomy because there are deep layers of muscle. Like right in there are the deep six hip rotator muscles underneath the gluteal muscles. There's three gluteal muscles and six deep muscles. And in order to get to those, you have to really relax and release the outer muscles first. And then let it, the ball get deeper and deeper into the tissue to release the deep muscles. And so people will be like, they'll spend five or ten minutes and get a degree of relief. But they didn't get to the deeper muscles, and the deep muscles keep getting tighter, and then that causes them problems, and they don't know what to do. That's why it's so important to change your lifestyle so that you don't have all those expenses so that you can spend a lot of time healing your body from being exposed to humanity and all of the idiocy. And the more you're exposed to cell phones and cell phone towers and EMF in your house and all of that, the more it makes you tight. Tight is not what you want for your body because that causes havoc with your mind. I'm going to need to turn so that the light is better. These are just fantastic rollers. I use these every single day on my body. I've got some, I've got some knots like right in there. Uh, so now I'm going to take this Theracane and work on my middle back muscles. If you hold it on the back like this, and then you hold it somewhere around here, then you can get a lot of leverage. And you just want to feel for where it's tight and sore right in there is getting it for me. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to do a child's pose and stretch all that that I just massaged. I'm going to focus on stretching the left side that I just massaged. If I want to, I can massage my shoulder while I'm here. Okay, so now I'm going to do some inner thigh massage and I'm going to really work it deep because there's some deep, deep muscles. There's a superficial layer, there's a media, medium layer, and there's a deep layer of muscles here. Okay, take some oil, 
and you have to use oil to really do the job well. Yes, if you're in a pinch, you can massage your bod through your clothes, but it's not typically near, it's definitely not near as good. Okay, so your thumbs can be powerful massage tools. If you're in your clothes right now, take them off wherever you're at. If you're watching this video in the grocery store, take off your clothes, sit down on the ground, go to the, the oil aisle, find yourself some oil in the store, put it on your leg, and if anybody asks you what you're doing, just tell them that you're doing some self-massage as I'm instructing you. You can use your knuckles. Ooh, see? Your fingers can really feel where there's tension if you dig deep. Okay, now that I've done that, I feel as though I need to work on my calf muscles some. You'll notice that, that when you release the muscles in a certain part of your body, that the adjacent muscles then rear their bear their ugly tightness. And you'll need to work on the adjacent ones for a while. After I work on this, I may feel as though my feet need massage. It's so important to massage your whole body regularly. Okay, now stretch. Stretch. And flex and stretch, flex and extend, flex and extend. You do that, and you do that, and you very well may feel a cramp come up. Okay, let's work on the outer part of that leg now with the shindig massage tool. Hold it like this. Dig all that out of there. If you want, you can take the sharper part, or even the sharpest part. Bugs. See the sharpest part there? That'll do some gua sha on it. You can feel the little ridges underneath the skin uh, where the fascia is bound up. This is the perineal minor and major. I wonder if it's pronounced peroneal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> They're just names, you know? Sometimes I'm like, they're just a fucking name. As long as you know about the muscle, you don't really need to know what it's called unless you need to refer to it to somebody else. That's the purpose. Okay. So yeah, now, now I can feel as though my foot needs some massage on the top. 
So you just keep going from one thing to the next until your whole body is feeling released and better. And you can imagine how much vitamin D I'm getting. And I only bathe, like, shower once or twice a week. And I've got a, a nice little shower in the trailer there, but I've just come to this understanding that and if you watch the vitamin D video from Dr. Mercola, then you'll know that you're washing out the vitamin D from your skin if you're, if you're scrubbing it with soap every day. It takes three days for it to absorb into your body. And so you don't want to constantly wash your skin with soap. Just, you know, smell your bod. If it's, if it's starting to smell, then get a shower. If it's not, then don't. If you've cleansed as much as I have, then your body doesn't stink that much. Okay, let's work on the bottom of it a little bit with fingers. It's really good to work on your body with different things like tools, fingers, using gravity, etc, etc. Because different parts of the body require different tools just like your car. It's really important to massage your big toe. The other day I checked my videos and another 120 of my videos were demonetized for no reason. These are the antics of YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna stretch and massage my neck now. It totally needs it. Stretch it to the right. And you can do these along with me. Stretch it to the left. Roll it around. Round and around. Go both ways. You can sing a little song. Oh baby, I love your way every day. Wanna tell you I love your way. Ooh. I wanna be with you night and day. Hey, 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 hey. So massage these right here. Once again, come back to the pecs. And stretch. Stretch it all back. Sometimes I think that the exercise and health gurus are all with me, you know, helping me to teach you. Jack LaLanne and Paul Bragg, the juice man. Pop, 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 If you feel a knot, pop it. Pop in. That could be a rap name, a rap word. I'm just popping, man. <laughs> I'm popping. Yeah. People be like, Brett, you're hairless. <laughs> Not really. I have hairs in my nose that are constantly bugging me. <laughs> so I really like the new haircut. It was free, basically. Cost a little bit of electricity. I just took the dog shearers. It took about five or ten minutes to get it really, really good and clean. Isn't it great? It feels so good. It's about 90 out here right now. And I am cooking. <laughs> Let's stretch this ankle again. Just pull. Put both hands underneath your foot. And just pull, pull that sucker. And then extend. 
and massage right there in the ankle. You can also do this ringing stuff. Get right in there. The whole top of your foot might get really, really tight and sore. Like mine is feeling right now. Just give it a little bit of oil. Just so that you can get a slide. Your feet don't need a lot of oil because they already have oil. But they need a little bit. Come back to the shin dig. Okay, I'm getting a bit warm here, so I'm going to wrap it up. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope that you are well. Thanks for sending me a birthday present, donation, whatever you want to call it. My birthday is in three days, July the 3rd. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.